Man, I really learned something today and I can't wait to share it with you. We know as anglers that cold fronts can be absolutely devastating to our fishing, especially if you are in warmer climates like down south where they, those bass just don't get the temperature swings that we often do up in the northern part of the country. Well, I've been wanting to do some research on this, some underwater research on this for quite some time and I finally had the opportunity. It was really gorgeous up here in Northern Illinois. It's been up in the 70s and that water was warming up quickly. And then all of a sudden it's dropped like 30 degrees and it has got in cold. So I had the opportunity to get out there and really do some investigating with this camera and see what is up. Because we know fishing during a cold front can be tough. And I want to know, was I in the right place or am I totally missing it? Well, the first thing that I did is I cruised about eight or 900 yards of shoreline that traditionally has fish all over it. And even when you're just going right down the bank with the trolling motor, you see fish and oftentimes see some pretty good quality sized fish as well. I didn't see anything, zero, zip, nada. And that's to be expected, right? I wasn't expecting anything different, but I just wanted to check. So I did a whole bunch of looking around, couldn't find any bass shallow whatsoever. Now, the other thing that I did is I wanted to investigate two different water types, ultra clear water, then water off in another bay that's a little bit murkier. And as you can see, it's pretty cloudy most of the time. So I wanted to check these two different water clarities out and see how these bass responded to this really cold weather change. Now first, let's go ahead and check out these murky water bass. Believe it or not, I found them in about three foot of water. Just a week ago, they were up in about a foot and a half, really kind of kicking around this idea of, you know, fanning out some nests, but that process has not started yet. And they did back off when this cold weather hit, but not that far they basically doubled the depth that they were in. They went from about a foot and a half down to about three foot of water. Now it's important to note that in this water clarity, in this murky water at a three foot depth, they are out of sight. I mean, you could go right by them with your trolling motor, polarized glasses on, look down in the water and you are not going to see them. So they did slip down to a different depth, but not anywhere near the depth that I thought they would go. The next thing I did is I checked some clear water areas. As a matter of fact, I went back to the same riprap that I filmed the last week that just had bass all over it. And just like the murky water fish, these bass basically doubled their depth. They were right around in that three foot, four foot range last week. Now they are sitting in that six to eight foot range and both groups of fish, the murky water fish and the clear water fish, slipped to the edge of the cover that they were holding on. For example, the, these fish in the murkier, the dirtier water, they were hanging out over some shallow vegetation or some short vegetation, I should say. They slipped down to the end of that cover basically where it transitioned into a, just a silty or a mucky bottom, and that's where they were hanging out. The fish on the riprap last week were up on the top edge of that riprap, right where it met the boat ramp, okay? They were at the very, very top edge of that, as shallow as that rock would go. When I checked now during this cold front that had come through, they were down at the bottom edge. Now the first thing that I should probably note here is these are definitely pre-spawn fish. The spawn has not happened. These fish I'm sure would act very differently if it was the middle of summer when they were already maybe at 20 or 30 feet. So I will definitely do some checking, you know, in July, August, early September and see what cold fronts do to the bass then. But the main takeaway that I got from this is during the spring, during this pre-spawn and into the spawn and probably into the post-spawn period when a cold front comes through, I can say with confidence 
that I have been fishing deeper than where the bass were actually sitting, or at least the bass that I found when I was out there filming. Are there some fish deeper? Probably could almost guarantee it, but I know that I have been fishing too deep when those cold fronts come through in the spring. Now, this is on my home lake. The lakes that you fish or the rivers that you fish may be completely different. I'm not a biologist. I don't pretend to be, but I just go off of the observations that I have seen and that I want to share with you. So I can guarantee the next time I'm out there and a cold front comes through, I'm not gonna fish quite as deep as I had been before. I'm gonna go where I know those fish were and then just back off or slip down just a little bit. And of course, probably use some finesse types of presentations. And hey, if you would like to watch a video on my two lure approach as to how I locate and find bass quickly, go ahead and check this one out right here and make sure to go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life for the bass fishing life. I'm your host, Steve Rogers.